Moments later, however, the radio crackled to life again. But what came through wasn't the familiar voice of Dr. Rhodes or any other member of the team. Instead, it was strange, eerie voice layered beneath the static. Elizabeth described it as a chant, a low rhythmic murmur in a language that seemed otherworldly. An unsettling harmony that resonated from somewhere deep within the cave. It was as if the drowman and depths themselves were speaking, whispering secrets from a past long forgotten. And then came the strangest occurrence of all. As Elizabeth and Michael strained to make sense of the garbled transmission, Michael glanced toward the cave entrance. Out of the corner of his eye, he saw something, a shadow, a shape moving in the dim light. He described it as tall, thin, and unmistakably humanoid. When he called out, it disappeared, slipping back into the darkness as though it had never been there. Elizabeth tried to reassure him, suggesting it could have been a trick of the light, perhaps fatigue playing tricks on their minds. But both of them knew the stories, the tales of lizard guards that had been whispered on this island for centuries. The Yarukana, the ancient watchers below. Could it be that they had caught a glimpse of one of these elusive beings? Or perhaps it was merely the weight of the legends influencing their perception. Fear turning shadows into monsters. Michael and Elizabeth kept the vigil waiting for any further contact. But the hours ticked by and nothing more came through. The eerie chanting faded, replaced by an unsettling silence that now stretches into its second day. As we try to piece together the scattered fragments of this mystery, I cannot help but feel a deep sense of unease. What has happened to Dr. Rhodes and her team? Could it be that the Trauman and Deaths are more than just an ancient cave system? Is it possible that they are not alone in there? That something else, something foul, that still calls those Deaths home? We've all heard the legends of Isla de Verano, the Yarukana who guard the secrets of the earth, hidden from the eyes of men. Could it be that our team has stumbled upon something they were never meant to find? And if so, what price might they pay for this forbidden knowledge? Tonight I ask you, my fellow explorers, is it curiosity that drives us or is it hubris? The team went searching for the truth, but perhaps there are some truths better left undisturbed. Until we have more answers, let us hope for their safe return. And pray that whatever lurks in the depths of Isla de Verano is not angered by their presence. This is Exploration Now, signing off for now. Thank <laughs> you.